Fans, we're back, and what a tremendous opening match, and I'm joined back here at ringside by my normal co-host, Ben Masters. Ben, missed you at the beginning of the show, and a pleasure to have Sal Renar out here, but what a show we've got left. Tell you what, uh, great way to start the program, and here now, the BFF Plus coming out. We got uh, the adorable one, Anthony Andrews, but coming out with the new team of Adrian Hawkins and Marvelous Michael Stevens. You know, this is threesome. You never know what they're going to do or, or how it's going to come at you. And today we have four man tag team action, but we have three men coming to the ring. It's Marvelous Michael Stevens. Well, feathers are flying as Mr. Stevens enters the ring. Adrian Hawkins, tan and spraying himself and missing in action the protein jar. Yes, and we know Sal Renaro had his hands on that the last time we saw it. I wonder if he tried it. I have to ask him next time we see him. Great program and still to come, uh, great championship matches as we're going to see Kyle Matthews defending that title for the first time on this program, the NWA RPW heavyweight title, and then, of course, the main event, the cash ball defending the NWA RPW tag team championship against the usual suspects. Dr. Gayton hopefully has gotten those two guys on the same page. Today is the title match. I'm pretty sure he has. If anyone can, it'd be Dr. Gayton. And you have to think the four-time champs want to be five-time champs. We're going to find out in our main event. But right now, the extremely popular and very successful team, the Williams brothers, the Washington Bullets, are here. John and Trey Williams, very well received here by the fans. The fans love this tag team of the year, as voted by Georgia Wrestling History. And now they're here at Rampage Pro Wrestling to make a name for themselves. And that's exactly what they've been doing. Dynamo tag team. And here they got quite a colorful team to go up against. And certainly no one has defeated the Washington Bullets since they arrived. And I know the BFS would like to get that feather uh, added to the feathers in their boa. That's very nice. Feathers in their boa. That's pretty good. Forget the caps. That was good. I like that. <laughs> well, they are losing feathers, so they need to get some more. Tell you now, you have to begin to wonder with the Washington Bullets as they are undefeated and with impressive wins over Hot Like Lava on recent wrestling programs, how long is it going to be before they get their opportunity at the cash vault or the usual suspects, depending on the outcome of our main event? Absolutely. When you see a team like the BFF and not so much Adrian Hawkins, uh, it's, it's hard to really take them seriously sometimes, but that can be a mistake because these antics that come out with feathers and everything, that's just a roadblock. That's just an obstacle. Uh, you have to realize underneath all that, they're dangerous opponents. Very much so. John Williams locks up with Adrian Hawkins in the middle of the ring, goes after the left arm, controls it as Hawkins goes for the leg, hooks that leg, and he's trying to control the man as he grabs a hold of a toe hold, ankle lock at this point. Weak as part of the leg. You know Williams wants to get him away from that because if he takes out that ankle, he's going to take out his mobility. John Williams with a side headlock now maintained on Adrian Hawkins. Great tag team action here, Rampage Pro Wrestling. Shoots Quick grab the by the adorable one on the outside is Williams, and Hawkins waits from behind, lands a double sledge to the back, driving Williams over into the corner, and now Hawkins in control, picks him up, takes him down with a body slam right there, looks over at the corner to Marvelous Michael Stevens, and he tags in. And the adorable one sent back to the dressing room. He's gone. So now we might see some uh, great tag team action without distractions. Full scoop slam now by the Bullets. Tag is made. And the Williams brothers showing what they're made of here. Trey in, jockeying for position, manages to get him up. A lot of bounce in the step of Trey Williams as both Williams brothers now in the ring. And Another it's full scoop slam. And it's marvelous Michael Stevens, a little worse for wear here. And it's a... Uh, a diversity of body slams as now marvelous Michael Stevens is pulled out of the ring by his own partner who's trying to get his head in the game, I guess. Slaps him in the face, trying to get his attention. As we said before, Hawkins. Slingshot plancha off, caught his serious. John Williams right there. There was no success on that, but now Trey prepares and off he goes. Suicide plancha takes out the whole pile. They thought they had diverted the attack of the bullets, but not so much as it was followed through by Trey Williams. And the Washington Bullets now, Trey Williams throwing Hawkins back in the ring. Hawkins much more the serious competitor. Williams though cut off as he's trying to get back in the ring by Stevens. Good teamwork shown by the BFF team right there. And now it's Hawkins going back out, trying to get his opponent in the ring. You cannot win a match outside the ring. But you can do a lot of damage and that's what they're doing right there, Ben Masters. Lambs his head into that ring apron. And now rolling him in, trying to cover him lateral press, rolls him up, holds the legs and not enough. 
Fans, if you're watching this program on Fox 24, you want to stay tuned afterwards. Sal Renaro is on Fox Radio 1670, and you want to make your plans to be at Rampage Pro Wrestling's next event, the 25th at 3 p.m. at Johnny G's, and what an event that's going to be. Absolutely. Bring the whole family with uh, three hours of TV taping that day. You want to come on out and see all the great action, uh, extra special treat with the fans. So come on out on March 25th for the great event. Then, of course, we will not be here the first two weeks in April, but back the third Sunday in April. Very much so. 15th, we'll be back 29th for another show. Then we're back to those second and fourth Saturdays once we get into the month of May. If you ever have a question about where Rampage Pro Wrestling is or you just want to catch up on all the information, rampageprowrestling.net or the Facebook page. That's right. And Miss Allie, our lovely ring announcer, has her own Facebook page. Where she enjoys being poked. And you can be her friend. You could. And covers her two cow. And Marv now putting the boots literally to the Williams brother at uh, in the corner. Fans, if you're out on the if you're out on the Twitter doing the tweeting, you want to tell all of the fans, you want to tell the other people out there the place to be on occasional Sunday afternoons at 3 p.m. is Rampage Pro Wrestling live events. If you're watching it on TV, you're seeing a great program and some of the best action in the state of Georgia, if not in the whole United States. But you're not you're never really going to know how great it is until you're sitting here in attendance and enjoying it live. Throws him as he went and reversed the move and throws him right into that turnbuckle. And Trey Williams now being rolled up and only a two count. Adrian Hawkins, a consummate wrestler, upset that he did not get the pinfall on this man. Obviously, he is used to getting his way. And uh, very unlikely pairing with these guys, the BFFs. Don't yes, know what the attraction is. So far effective. We'll have to see how effective over a length of time. Ben, you uh, you were uh, not out here when I had Sal Renaro visiting with me when Drew Adler won his won a title here. Is I think his first title in Rampage Pro Wrestling. He's now our television champion. What a surprise that was! What a great surprise, and also uh, some very interesting people showing up in the arena last week. You noticed it too. I we didn't know if you had an opportunity to see that, but we did. Sal Renaro and I both noticed it, and not everybody did. But Jimmy Rave was in attendance. Hadn't seen him in a long time. I knew. Uh, it had to be uh, sooner or later, but now he's here. Don't know what's going to happen now. Well, he's suspended, but that doesn't prevent him from buying a ticket. That's right. He has the freedom to do that. And he was in a seat when I saw him. No, right. right now, the fans are trying to cheer this man on. And Trey Williams is feeling the fan support, and he's using it to motivate himself to get to a vertical base, to get to act to his feet, to fight back from this rear bear hug hold. The marvelous Michael Stevens has, and he does break the hold. It's the ropes, but Stevens follows him with that elbow, takes him off his feet again. Down goes Williams, as in comes Adrian Hawkins. And Hawkins comes in slow and methodically as Trey Williams is back into that corner. Needs to make that tag with John Williams in the corner. You're watching the Washington Bullets and tag team action here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. Oh, but reversal now by Williams. Tried to fight it, did uh, Haw Hawkins well there. Up and over, fighting back, forces Stevens out, does Trey Williams to the midsection on Hawkins, and now he's in the middle of the ring and he's trying to get back in, but Hawkins up, catches him with a knee lift coming in, now elevates him on the second rope, just hit a swinging neck breaker. Off the ropes for ever, extra leverage now, and it's Trey Williams is in a bad way, and John comes in for the save. Broke it up there, John Williams trying to resist the temptation to do that, but at the same time, thought his brother in serious jeopardy at this time. They have an instinct together as brothers. They know when each needs the other's help. And now a double team move on the count. But, whoa. Not working out for BFF, there. tag is made. Smart move there, both men in, one. Down goes two as John lands blow after blow, clothesline. Hawkins comes in straight to him. Did you see Hawkins feed Marv to the man? Threw yeah. him into it. Well, then Hawkins came in, didn't know what he was doing, but he right there, John Williams did. Discus forearm catches him on the knee, going for the cover right now. This could be it. One, two, broken up by Hawkins. Fast-paced action here on Rampage Pro Wrestling. And now, Trey Williams trying to come up as John Williams is on his knees. Trey sets him up now for a suplex. And now a double team maneuver. Reverse it has him up. Look Takes at that leapfrog. Went all the way over his partner and the other man and landed on top of his chest. Stevens, though, positions himself somewhat deliberately to do that, only to get caught from behind by John Williams. Stevens proud of himself, but rewarding himself at the wrong time as Williams is in. Whoa, 
That Only time. to be caught by that. Impressive maneuver by Marvelous Michael Stevens. Yanking on that arm and jacked the arm out of place. And that will certainly uh, separate a shoulder in a hurry. Beginning to wonder if we have a Rampage Rules match here as I've lost track of who the legal man is, but I do know this. Look at this! Leg Larian came up and There's caught a him. Cover. One, Adrian Hawkins two, is trying to get back three, in. And the Washington isn't Bulls able to do it. it as he's caught right there. Wow. And Hawkins tried his best to make the save. Unable to do it. The winning team, the Dynamo team in Rampage Pro Wrestling now is the Washington Bullets, John and Trey Williams, victorious over the BFF. What a great matchup. And I bet you it's not going to be long before we see these two in action against the tag team champions, whoever they may be by the end of this television program. Fans, we're going to be right back after these messages. You're not going to want to go anywhere.